I really have an aim that Bristol not only is the most welcoming city in this country, that it is the most compassionate city in this country, and that every neighbour matters, that everybody is looking out for each other. And so I think this is more than just about restorative justice. It's about a whole attitude about us having a family attitude to the city. Um, so I agree that it is the victim that must be most looked after, but I think actually it's a highly practical thing to involve the criminal in the conversation that gives them a greater understanding of what they did. And I'm, I'm sure all of us have done something thoughtless in our lives. Um, maybe Marion has never done, but there are, there are, you know, she's too good, I know. But um, Marion is a legend in the city. She has been involved in mediation and, and thinking about this um, for as long as I can remember. Um, but I go back, I'm absolutely sure that sometimes we do thoughtless things. We do thoughtless things simply because we don't understand the effect sometimes it has on people. One has hurt somebody by something one said um, too easily. Um, I have to say, I find that's terribly so in politics, um, which is a, a, a new game for me after 25 years away from it, and I forget how easily you offend. Um, but um, I've always said that um, if you make a city that's good for children, you make it good for all of us. So I think to change the culture, it is to me, with the children that we start, um, that I'm delighted to hear of the idea of the schools competition and engaging the schools. I hope that all schools move towards restorative justice in, the, in, in their <coughs> schools. I know that the schools where my um, grandchildren are at, that uh, they're already um, experiencing a certain amount of very intelligent restorative justice. I don't know whether that's what they call it, but certainly it seems to be that that practice is becoming the culture within their schools, and that um, must, must be a good thing. Um, so. I want to simply be here to endorse the um, wish that Bristol becomes a restorative city. Um, we don't do it by name. We have to do it by action. We have to justify it. We have to tie up, tie together all those um, agencies that are involved, make quite sure that we all understand what it means, um, make sure that um, we as the various agencies um, enable people to practice restorative justice wherever they, wherever they, where, wherever they may be. Um, and that we are brave enough to face up to the arguments, which are the popular arguments too often. They are the Daily Mail arguments. They are the phone into the radio arguments. They are the, 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 the local newspaper arguments that, um, that somehow you feel better by being bitter, that somehow you feel better by holding a grudge. You don't. It just eats you up. And I think it's really important that we face up very bravely to those, um, to those arguments and that those of us who are responsible, um, I hate to call myself a politician, but okay, I'm responsible for leading this city, um, don't um, fall into the trap of the popular argument and that uh, we, we recognise that in the end it's better for everybody and that there's a sound economic argument as well. So this isn't just about compassion. We know perfectly well that if we can get this greater understanding, we reduce the problem, we reduce the cost of tackling the problem and, we, and, and that uh, there is um, a virtuous circle in, um, involved in, in the whole process. So. Um, Thank you all for the challenging questions you're about to, um, to, to, to issue. Um, um, I'm here more to learn than I am to inform, but maybe you get an idea of my attitude, and I think it is that attitude that will help drive us in the right direction, um, and that, uh, that I will certainly encourage restorative justice in all the places 
that the, the, the city has any, has any influence over. And that when we look at the question of what I call whole place, whole, whole city, when we look at um, how we run this city um, through all the various public agencies and through the voluntary sector, I hasten to add, which I have an enormous amount of time for, that we all put this on the agenda so that we do ensure that we do become a restorative city that has um, the justification for calling it so. Thank you.